What's up, my foxes? I hope you're ready to talk about today's mini game, or should I say mini games? The Birth Art Games Room. If you'd like to do more to support me, become a channel member and check out my merch store. Thanks a ton, guys. This is located in Birthorp, of course, located under the castle, but you'll need to bring a friend to play against or jump to the Birthorp Games Room world and see if you can't play against a stranger. Honestly, I hopped to the Birthorp world and it was pretty empty. <laughs> Which, I think this would have been a better feature and probably used a lot more if it had a way to compete against the system instead of just other players. You can use a games necklace to get here, or you can use the minigame teleport. Unlike other minigames, this one doesn't reward any prizes or points, just game rankings. The Birthorp Games Room offers four brain teasers. Droughts, Runelink, Runiversity, and Rune Squares. Droughts is RuneScape's versions of Checkers which I happen to be decent at because this was my dad's favorite game. Like the real game of checkers, your objective is to jump over as many of your opponent's pieces as you can to win. Rune Link is RuneScape's version of Connect 4. I can't say I've really played any of this honestly. You drop runes in each row and they will stack on top of each other. You win when you get four of your runes in a row. Runiversi is RuneScape's version of Othello. I played this a lot as a kid with my sister. The goal here is to have more of your runes on the board than your opponent, and you do this by capturing their pieces by placing your pieces on either side of theirs. Rune Squares is RuneScape's version of Dots and Boxes. This reminds me of a connect -a dot game I used to play when I was in middle school. The concept is easy. You make one line by connecting two dots, and whoever's line closes a box wins that box, and your rune goes in the middle showing that you've won it. Whoever has the most boxes at the end wins. It's really simple and fun games. I'd probably be here a lot playing against the system to see how high of a ranking I could get if it allowed player versus AI, but sadly it doesn't. But let's go over the game ranking system. Each game has its own rank. It starts at 1000 and goes up and down depending on if you win or lose each match. You can gain or lose anywhere from 1 to 100 points depending on your opponent's ranking. Your own ranking cannot be below 1 and it can't be higher than 60,000. That's a high cap. You'll need a minimum of 1500 game rank to go to some of the upstairs room and the game room. Alright guys, this is a pretty dead game so I'm out of here, but if it's something that you want to do and you got a friend that you want to do it with, go for it. Thanks for watching.